We are making progress. That is what the Aging and Long-Term Care Services Department is now saying as it releases new guidance to allow more foot traffic into assisted care facilities. Action 7 News reporter Stella Sun joins us live in Albuquerque. And Stella, this is a big deal for so many families with loved ones who are inside the facilities. It sure is. I'm at the Elmcroft Assisted Care Facility. For months, families have been using this COVID safe dividers to see their loved ones from the inside and from the outside. But now that everyone inside is fully vaccinated, those residents and those staff, visitors can now go inside and they can hug their mothers, they can hug their fathers and their grandparents. Yahoo! Sue Harrell is feeling good. She's fully vaccinated. So when's the next time you're going to be able to hug your uh, son? <laughs> well, probably this afternoon if he comes by. Are you excited for that? Yes, of course. She's been living at the Elmcroft Assisted Care Facility for more than a year. Her son has been visiting her through the window, but today that changes. It really signifies a big step for residents. We are basing our decisions on science. With the current cases and the number of people who've been vaccinated, we can ex start to expand visitation. The state announced relaxed restrictions after seeing COVID cases decline and vaccination efforts accelerate. We're very excited because it gives our residents the ability to not only have an inside visitation, but to be able to hug their family members that come visit them or hold hands or touch them in some way, which hasn't happened in over a year. Deirdre Walker, Elmcroft's executive director, says the pandemic has been unbelievably difficult for residents. But now that everyone is fully vaccinated, they can have some fun. We can have an exercise class. We can have bingo. We can have, you know, things going on inside the community other than just one to one interaction. The rules are based on the state's red, yellow, green, turquoise framework. The better the county is means looser rules. Something Harold is all for. That's very enjoyable. It's nice to be able to socialize and not be stuck in your room by yourself. Now, social distancing and masking up is still required amongst all of the residents who live in this facility. It's only those fully vaccinated residents. They can choose whether or not they want to have close contact with the visitor. Reporting live here in Albuquerque, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News. And the updated guidance is on our website.